Hi everybody, me again. So this is a recording to show you how to export the CMAPs we've all created um, to Moodle as a web page. Because I think that's a, that, that would be a big need for everybody. So just to run you through the steps, um, there are about 10 or 11 steps. Uh, it's quite detailed, but we will show each of them. Basically, we first export the CMAP as a web page from CMAP tools to a specific folder. I think organization is very important. Once we have the files in the folder, we're going to zip them as a zip file. Then we're going to, with our drag and drop thingy, zip and drag and drop the zip file into Moodle in the while the editing mode is on. Then it immediately wants to know what what should I do with the zip file with the zip file, and you choose the second the second option, which is create a file resource. You shouldn't just or, uh, create unzip the, the the files, create a folder with with files. It won't work. Then once it's there. You have to go through a second process where you click on the little hand to update it, to edit it. You'll ha need to add a description. And then you're going to unzip that zip file that you've just sent to Moodle. After unzipping, then you click on the HTML file because that is the file that you must tell Moodle he needs to open this file, the HTML file. And then you click on it and you're going to set it as the main file. You'll see it now. Then we just choose that this new thing opens up in a new web page um, and then you just have to save, return to course and, and, and then basically test. We've just heard from Andrew that one should also then delete the zip file from that file, uh, otherwise we have double files and we're not saving space. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that as well. Thanks Andrew for that. Alright, so let's go to Moodle or actually to CMAP and see how that process works. Right, so in CMAP we now see a very very simple concept map, but I think it's just to prove the, uh, the concept. Um, one central one with one node, the concept mapping is fun, and you will see inside the CMAP there is this, um, there's this picture uh, with Steve at work. There you go, so that should open up. Now we want to take this whole thing and create a web page out of it which is interactive. So after saving <coughs> the CMAP, we go to File, Export CMAP As, and then we choose Web Page. Now it wants to know where should I save this file. So I find the special folder folder that I've created for this project and I say please save it in that CMAP web page example folder with file name CMAP fun. Save it. It has been exported to CMAP fun.html. Right, so if we go to our uh, Windows Explorer, you will see that is the, there's my, there's my normal CMAP that I've saved. I've created this special folder into which I have now set, told CMAP tools to, to save this web page in. And then you will see the most important one, the HTML file. There's uh, the, the photo of, um, of Steve, I think, and all the other files this web page needs basically to function. So the next step is to zip all of these fo um, files. I choose all of them, right click and in my windows it says send to compressed zip folder and there I have the zip file. The next step now is to get the zip folder into Moodle. So that's where we're going to next. Right, so I've opened up Moodle and we are here in module 3 rich content. This is where the CMAPs have been dealt with. I'm in edit mode on, remember, and now I just need to do the drag and drop. So I'm just going to do this and take the zip file, that's all I need drag it over to here. And remember I've said Moodle is now going to challenge you. What, what, what should I do with the zip file? Zip file. It's not the first one. You, s you select the second one. Create file resource and upload. Now it's done that. Okay. At the moment it's just a normal zip file. So if you actually want students to have the whole zip file to be able to get on their computers and work offline as a web page, you can do that, but we want to extract this whole thing now as a web page. Next step, click on the update, little edit button. I'm just going to keep the name, or just call it CMAP Fun web page. You need to give a description. Right, and we can display it on the, on the page or whatever. Now the next step is unzip the zip file, because we need to get all the files open into Moodle. Click on it and we just say it's easy, we just unzip. Now again we have all the, all the files we need. Next step was 
tell Moodle which file it should start off with. And of course it's the HTML file, that's the main file. So I click on it, and this is the only thing that's a bit weird, not weird, but you just have to know about it. You say, set this file as the main file. All of a sudden you see it is um, it is bold, and we know that's the main file. And like Andrea stated, this zip fo uh, fo uh, folder is now unnecessary, so we can just take it out. And there we have our whole web page there. Remember to let it open up in a new window. This is also great for cell phones. If it opens up in a new window, then you can have a better view of the file. Um, you can set all of these other things if you want to, but in my case, I'm just going to save and return to course. And the last step is always testing. Now I know it's right at the bottom here. So I click on CMAP Fun Web Page. It should open up. It looks great. We've got my concept map. We must just check if the picture opens up and indeed the picture opens up. So I think those are the steps and what can I say? CMAPs rule.